It's upgrade time for the V88 Rockchip 3229 Android TV box. We've now got Marshmallow available, so watch this tutorial for a complete guide on installing it on your V88. My name's Matthew, and here's another tutorial by the MXQ Project. First thing we need to do is we need to go and grab those files. Now let's go to the mxqproject.com forward slash files and go down to where it says Rockchip 3229 Recovery Tools and in there you shall see a Marshmallow folder. If you go in there and download that zip file and once you've done that we can move on to the next part where we're going to unzip that file. Once you've downloaded that zip file all we need to do is unzip it. Now if you right and click on the actual zip file then you'll be able to extract it onto your desktop. Now if you don't have an extraction tool I'll leave a link in the description to like 7-zip or something like that. Once you've extracted it you should be left with an image file and two folders as shown. Next we need to install some drivers so your computer can talk to your V88. So go to the driver assistant folder and go down to driver install. Except the permission that it's asking for and then just select install as shown. This may take a few minutes and just leave it alone while it's doing it. Next up we need to click on the Android tool release folder. Head down to Android tool, load that up and this is the tool we're going to be using to install our firmware. So now we need to connect our V88 to our computer. Insert one end of a USB mail to mail cable into your PC and then the next end we're going to need to connect to our V88. So grab your V88, grab something thin and sharp and insert it into your AV port. There is a little button in there, keep that held in and then apply the other end of the USB mail cable into the back of the V88 USB port as shown. This should display a device found on your computer within that Android tool and then we can proceed on to the next part. Next, select firmware and then select the image file that we unzipped at the start of this video. Now next up you need to click upgrade and that's pretty much it. On the right hand side of the screen you'll see the program is running through the installation process. It'll say success once it's finished. Once it's finished the actual system will reboot itself while it's still connected to your PC. So it's probably a good idea to actually have a monitor connected to your V88 rather than disconnecting the V88 and risking breaking the Android system. Now we don't want that because we're probably trying to fix our box anyway. So make sure you've got a monitor handy if possible. So on first boot after installing this I've noticed that it comes up with this fail to mount error. Just ignore this, I did and it just finally reboots itself and it initiates Android for the first time. Now this takes about maybe five minutes to actually complete but subsequent boots should be a lot faster than this because obviously Android is just doing its initial boot. So once the firmware is booted you can see that it's exactly the same launcher as previously used on Lollipop. It's definitely running Marshmallow Mine at 6.0.1 according to the device system settings but I've not tested this ROM at all so I have no idea what sort of performance gains you're going to get if any over Lollipop but you guys can test it you can tell me in the comments section below whether it's any good or not. Now that's pretty much it for this video hopefully everything went okay for you. My name is Matthew and this was another tutorial brought to you by the MXQ project. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we shall see you in the next one.